Fox News Flash Top Entertainment and Celebrity Headlines are here. Check out what's clicking today in entertainment. This bunny's got a tail. And the spooky story centers around the late Hugh Hefner's Playboy Mansion. Former Playboy Bunny and Girls Next Door reality star Bridget Marquardt claims Hef's sprawling 5.7 acre estate in Holmby Hills, California, is a haunted house. There are ghost stories dating back decades from that mansion, Marquardt, 48. Explained on Paranormal Activity Podcast Dark House Wednesday. I saw a woman appear in my bedroom. Marquardt, who served as one of Hef's live in girlfriends from 2002 until 2009, claims the ghost of a former mansion employee materialized near her bedroom closet during a relaxed girls' night in with her sister and best friend. Playboy releases October cover featuring a man my sister, myself and my friend Stacy were all sitting on my bed, the one, time E. Network staple said, adding that she had purchased a new puppy earlier that day. We were talking, having a glass of wine, and the TV was on. All of a sudden, out of the corner of all of our eyes, we saw a woman standing in my closet. But before the former playmate could get a good look at her uninvited guest, the disembodied figure had disappeared. TV personalities Holly Madison, Hugh Hefner, Bridget Marquardt and Kendra Wilkinson arrive at Sony Pictures, premiere of House Bunny at the Man Village Theater on August 20, 2008 in Westwood, California, Nielsen Barnard slash Getty Images. Of course when I turned to look at it straight on, it was gone, lamented Marquardt, who, despite the fleeting glance, distinctly remembers the apparition's appearance. She had black, long kind of stringy hair and she was very pale and very skinny, the blonde bombshell said. And she was wearing a white tee, shirt that was way too big on her and black acid, wash jeans. She was just standing there me staring. The spookiness of the moment notwithstanding, Marquardt denied being frightened by the sighting. In fact, she claims she recognized the woman. Holly Madison says Playboy World was a dangerous choice in upcoming secrets of Playboy docuseries before I lived in the mansion I was invited to test for Playmate, and I met this woman who was a social secretary at the mansion, said Marquardt. She was super friendly. She was kind of like the house mom. She knew about all the pets and she knew about all the girls. She was just amazing. However when Marquardt returned to the iconic compound a few years later, she learned that the woman had passed away from cancer. I'm pretty sure it was her who was standing there, she said. And I think she came to see the new addition to the mansion, the new pet that was there. My dog, Wednesday. Hugh Hefner at his Playboy Mansion in 1999. Marquardt went on to recall other eerie encounters at the $100 million property, like doors that would slam or lock on their own or the weird vibes visitors felt upon entering the mansion's gaming quarters. She even remembered Hefner telling her that the home's original owner, had either fell, been pushed or had jumped to her death inside the property, and that her spirit haunts the grounds. And Marquardt, who'd been estranged from the Playboy CEO for several years before his September 2017 death to infection, at 91, says Hefner's spirit visited her in a dream shortly after his passing. Click here to sign up for our entertainment newsletter one night I had this dream, and it was not long after Hef had died, she said, noting that she wasn't allowed to visit her ex-boyfriend in years before his passing nor was she invited to his funeral. This dream was like nothing I ever had before. It was so real. In the dream, she drove up to the mansion, and was welcomed onto the palatial property by security. But once inside the house the typically buzzing abode was still and unoccupied. I could tell that the house was abandoned and he was gone. But yet I was there to see him, said Marquardt. She said even though the home was dark, she heard the spooky sounds of really old 1940s music playing in throughout the space. Click here to get the Fox News app and then all of a sudden, Hefner comes down the stairs and he threw his arms out, Marquardt said. He gave me what we call his big laugh, like this big cackle that he did. He said, my darling. He put his arms around me, and I felt the hug. I could feel his smoking jacket. I could smell his cologne. It was so real. She said their spiritual rendezvous gave her a sense of closure surrounding Hef's death.